Synergy 2 is available now and makes sharing a keyboard or mouse between two systems so simple that anyone could do it. Check it out in the link in the description down below. We're here at Fantex checking out a setup that has two power supplies shared into one system that's so simple anyone can do it. Or one power supply shared into two systems so simple that anyone could do it. Fantex has teamed up with Seasonic to make these power supplies, and they're two different ones for the two different applications. Let's start with the Revolt Pro. This is the one you'll be using if you want to use multiple power supplies on the same system. That isn't just two. You could theoretically go beyond just the two we have here, but I suspect the vast majority of people will stick with just two power supplies. Now, how does this work? You may have seen the power supply combiner and splitter that Fantex has released in the past. They've essentially built that functionality into these power supplies individually. So the Revolt Pro has your motherboard connector, a whole bunch of CPU and PCIe connectors, a whole bunch of SATA and Molox connectors, and then down below these rubber stoppers there's another motherboard and another CPU pin input connector that you would plug another power supply into. It doesn't technically have to be a Fantex power supply, although I do suspect that they would probably prefer that, but you could use whatever power supply you want. And it's able to share some of its power up to, I believe, 600 watts through this main power supply. But it's also able, you're able to use the other cables from the other power supply if you want to plug in more Molexes or more graphics cards or whatever else you need. And there's failover protection, so if you are able to power both systems off of one power supply that is connected into each other, say you go with the 1000 watt version and you have a pretty beefy system, or the 850 watt version and you have a fairly mid-tier average system that people are building these days, one entire power supply could go down and your system won't shut down. Another cool thing about this that I like is if you're building a system that you need two power supplies for, say Austin in Scrapyard Wars Season 3, or if you're mining, or if you're just doing something crazy with computers and you need multiple power supplies, you don't have to mess around with bridging the 24 pin connector with the green wire and the black wire and making sure that you switch both the power supplies on at the exact right time so that you don't have part of your system powered up and the other part not powered up. Now everything's plugged into each other. It's really simple. You have one power switch. Everything's just fine. It'll work. But moving on from there, we have the Revolt X, which is kind of the opposite. It splits instead of joining. On this one, you have labels for System 1, where you have motherboard, CPU connections, SATA, Molex, PCIe, all that kind of stuff. And then there's System 2, where you have motherboard and CPU as well. This is also great, but for completely different scenarios. This enables you to run, say, two systems in one box. You could have your main system that you do everything on in your day-to-day, -day. then you could have your streaming box or a work workstation or a test system or whatever else on the other side. This also makes it so that say you have two workstations next to each other, you could run them out of the same box with two systems inside the same box, split monitors onto each side, and then you're at a higher efficiency. This is a 1200 watt platinum rated power supply. And if you look at efficiency curves, down on the lower end, if you're not using that much power, say both the systems are idling on two separate power supplies, you're at low efficiency on both of the power supplies. This will make it that you're going to climb the efficiency curve a little bit, make it so those idling times, which is actually a pretty high percentage of the time you're using your, or you're not using your computer, I guess, when you're asleep and whatnot, if you don't turn your computer off, or even when you just walk away from it, if it's idling, it will be more efficient than other possible solutions. You get one power supply that isn't at a higher price than it would be if it didn't have this internal functionality. It's at quite competitive price for other power supplies at the 1200 watt range. Same with the Revolt Pro that we mentioned earlier. It's not necessarily higher priced than anything else in its competitive range, and it looks really good. I like this grill on the top. And you're able to gain this functionality. You could use these things. You could use the Revolt X 1200 watt as a single power supply for a single system. You could use the Revolt Pro 850 or 1000 watt as a single power supply for a single system, you're paying essentially the same amount and you're gaining functionality to possibly use in the future. Say you want to grow on your system, you want to add a graphics card or two or do some other crazy stuff and you have the Revolt Pro. Well, you could just get another power supply, link it in, you have more wattage, you have more connectors, everything's kind of handled for you, it's nice and smooth. So you go with the Revolt X and you want to just add another whole computer. You add a workstation beside you, you add an employee, your girlfriend wants a computer, something like that, you already have the power supply, you just plug it into the other system and you're done. You don't even have to buy another one. That's pretty cool. A trusted power supply brand like Seasonic coming together with Fantex to add really cool functionality to their power supplies and make everything nice and simple and easy to use is really cool. And if you decide to go with something like the Revolt X and have two systems, you might need some software 
to link the keyboard and mouse as well over the system. See what I'm doing? Sponsor spot. There we go. Synergy 2 is out. They've simplified a whole bunch of stuff with the new release. There's no longer the server client settings that you have to set up. Just all your systems will work together. It's also able to communicate over more complicated networks that Synergy, 2, or Synergy 1 used to have problems with back in the past. So you don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. There's a new UI. There's SSL encrypted connections. It's, it's much more simple. You've been able to access your computers before you've logged into them if you have all the stuff shared over, which is nice. So you can move the stuff over, log in from there. Everything's nice and good to go. If you want to check it out, check it out in the link in the description. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Stay subscribed for all the rest of our CES 2018 content. I did not suspect we'd be doing this many power supply videos, but everything's been really cool so far. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.